at a typical high school, I think a lot of problems that the children see is the fact that you're stuck in a classroom learning things that you don't really think are going to be useful in the future. And a lot of these kids, they're not motivated for that. All right, so today we're going to compare and contrast the different types of starting systems. But shop is completely different. When you enter the shop, you really forget about everything else. You're doing practical things. I, I, I'd like to think that kids find more value in doing things hands-on, and they learn skills that they wouldn't otherwise learn in a classroom. This story is sponsored by the Walton Family Foundation. An aviation high school is a New York City public high school that provides students with Federal Aviation Administration training to work in the aviation maintenance technician workforce. Our school was located in Long Island City, Queens, and we also have a satellite annex class at JFK International Airport. We are a full city block, so the school is about seven stories. It also includes a hangar with about a dozen aircraft uh, with a variety of engines, equipment, training materials, mock-ups, everything you need to be what's called an FAA Part 147 school. You have to follow all the federal regulations. But we also have history classes and English classes and science, math, and languages and electives. It's a longer day due to the aviation maintenance courses on top of the traditional high school program. And in those courses, they get a lesson, but then they also get time to work on what they just were taught. Which part is the overrunner? Well, because it only turns one way. Right, okay. And then they have also what we call job sheets, where they get a variety of the required FAA jobs for that course. And again, they work together in groups. Santi, can you verify my wiring, see that it's still through the right gauge? Okay. Where they have to troubleshoot and work their way through what the FAA requires so they can then get the jobs that they can use, utilize those skills in the workforce. So there are three main courses to become an aircraft technician. So you have general aviation, airframe, and power plant. And so the instructional objectives here is to understand the various types of flow control valves. Airframe deals with everything related to your fuselage and aircraft systems that is not your power plant. Understanding is the main part. We're not here to memorize anything. And the power plant would be the engines. That's an entirely different subject. So now we're in the shop. Let's go. About 40% of our students will earn their license or licenses, which sounds small, but it's actually numbers-wise one of the biggest certification programs in the country. In order to earn both licenses, and you really need both licenses if you're going to go to work in the industry, you have to stay for an additional fifth year. The students have to really show they can meet the FAA standards, just like an adult does. This provides our students with a very clear focus and a very clear intent of what they're trying to accomplish and it makes them really work hard to stay driven to, to meet those standards. One thing I really noticed once I entered aviation that really surprised me was the fact that everyone, to a pretty strong degree, is intelligent and focused. Kids who normally others would doubt and say, you're not gonna get far. Once you enter the shop room and you see them working, you think, wow, this kid really knows what he's doing. And he really does have something in him. Once you get your license, you're certified to work. You're certified for your career. And there's a huge need for, for new technicians to enter the field. So you can get hired right away for the airlines and American and Delta and so on. But we also have students that work as air traffic controllers and FAA inspectors and airport managers. There's a whole world of, of aviation out there that our students wind up going into. So there's a lot of pathways that our students go down, including college and, and universities. My name is Sebastian Zaskowski. I'm 18 and I'm a fifth year student at Aviation High School. All right, good afternoon everybody. Let's do Stretch and Flex. So I started interning at Delta in November and I've liked it so far because it's even more hands-on than what I've learned in the school. And I'm shadowing all the workers so I get to see if I'm gonna like it at that job working as a aircraft technician. And so far it's been really fun. I've gotten to see like tire changes, brake changes, service checks, it's just like a walk around. I would say more than 50% of the, the technicians here in LaGuardia or in the New York City region is uh, currently is from Aviation High School. I had a lot of mentors back in Aviation High School, uh, former teachers, and it's, it feels good giving back a student the same opportunity that I had. So we, we have a nice, strong partnership with Aviation High School to bring the new technicians in and you learn real life experience. 
This summer, I'm going to take my exam to get my power plant license and have both my licenses so I can go work as an aircraft technician. And then I'm still applying for colleges. I'm, I'm going to try to go to Penn State, which my main major would be uh, mechanical engineering. And then after that, I'd maybe try to go more into getting my pilot's license. Going through aviation, I have more connections now, and they'll help me out to work my ladder. I see like a safe future for me. I don't have to worry about like not having a job. I always see like job security. Traditionally, you would go to college and you would take the mechanics course and get your licenses through there. And if I did that, I wouldn't be stepping into the industry until 24, 25. But because I'm at aviation high school, not only do I get this experience for basically no charge, but I also get to step my foot in the industry way earlier at 18. It's not a simple program, and it's not something that just uh, is a name on paper. It's a really lucrative, intense, and um, valuable career pathway that we can get from our school. And if they like doing that, hopefully they come back and teach. <laughs> yeah, there you go.